Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your May 2023 mid-month general reading. We're looking at the last half of May and this reading is for the air sign of Libra. I hope everybody's doing well. Thanks for being here, for watching these videos. For those of you who like, share, subscribe, refer and recommend, I'm always quite grateful. Thank you so much. <clears throat> so Libra, if your sun, moon, rising or Venus sign is in Libra, if you're cross-watching for a Libra, this video is for you. Uh, it's a general reading, which means, of course, it'll resonate a little differently for everyone. So if you know Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, watch any or all of those videos as well for any additional insight and perspective into what's going on in your own life. And if you find that something does resonate with you, it touches you, or you simply like the reading style, and you'd be interested in reaching out for a personal reading or taking a deeper look at something or information about that for yourself or as a gift for someone else, please feel free to email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. You can also get that contact info by clicking the description link or the title of this video. I would be delighted to hear from you. I can usually get back to you within the same day with more information. I do offer a pretty wide variety of choices for readings in all areas of life. So if that's something you might be interested in, uh, please email me. Scheduling is done in a pretty timely fashion too. So I'd be delighted to hear from you. So reach out and email me if you're interested. All right, Libra. I am using the Tarot of Dreams and clarifying with the Radiant Rider Waite. Let's see what the last half of May holds for you. Well, we begin with the Two of Cups, best friends, kindred spirits, soulmate, romantic or otherwise for some of you. A great union. The Fool, a brand new cycle starting, a whole new chapter beginning, which means that one is at an end stepping outside your comfort zone, doing something you've never done before, taking a leap of faith. I, I've seen the fool so much already, particularly for the water signs too, Cancer and Scorpio. So for some of you, there may be some astronomical or astrological connection there. So you're either taking a chance on someone in a relationship or the two of you together are doing something different, taking a chance, taking a trip, just completely stepping outside your comfort zone. Next, we have the Ace of Coins, a new job, a new project, moving, relocating, a combination of all of those, a new beginning, which has some practical elements to it as well. With the Seven of Swords, maybe you were quiet about this. Maybe you were strategizing this, planning this behind closed doors because the Seven of Swords is a card, uh, it's self-serving, uh, which can be positive or negative. It, it represents, you know, there's something you want to do, acquire, maintain, and in the doing of it or the planning of it, you, you keep as much, you play your, clothes, your cards pretty close to your chest. Um, you don't want to let the cat out of the bag, so to speak. Could be that somebody else was kind of operating behind closed doors for this new offer and opportunity too, to present it to you. Next, we have the Ten of Coins, long-term stability and security, especially financially and materially, although it rep can represent emotional uh, security and stability as well because there's a strong connection to home and family with this. Um, long-term security and stability, which means what? It means you don't have to worry about tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. There's a sense of relief and safety in the Ten of Coins with, oh my goodness, the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> The wheel turning in your favor, good good luck, good timing, good fortune, divine timing and orchestration. I mean, with the Ten of Coins, this is like, for money, career, finance, this is really, really, for anything, it's really, really good. It means that God's fingerprints are all over this, right? From the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is you, Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, seeing things in a very clear very honest, very direct sort of way and communicating the same. I'm going to pull one more for that. The priestess, the high priestess, trusting your instincts and your intuition, which we get from what? The divine. Um, some people call it higher self. Some people call it intuition. Some people call it gut instinct. It's that link, that conduit, that hose between us and God, spirit, angels, and guides that give us these feelings, these like confirmations. It's that, that sense that we need to go this way or that this is the right thing to do or the right thing, you know, whatever, regardless of what anybody else says. So it's trusting your instincts and your intuition about what looks like something maybe other people might think is a bit nuts or crazy or why in the heck it's a whole brand new thing, but you're trusting here. 
At least that's what it looks like. Let's clarify that overall energy of Queen of Swords with the High Priestess. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune again. De I, I mean, I'm almost tempted to end it here because this is just like God going, whatever this offer opportunity new beginning new cycle new whatever that fool card is spirit is like just saying it's I, i've brought it to you i've influenced guided it orchestrated it take it knight of pentacles knight of cups knights represent offers and opportunities one is more practical one is more one is more practical with earth here and, and with water and emotion one is more emotional a love and romance offer that also includes financial and material stability as well for some of you some combination of that could be it could be in the realm of career work and finance too but one which definitely affects relationship in a really truly positive way it brings in that financial and material stability that the two of you need for others of you it's just going to be a love and romance offer itself that might be kind of radical or come from an unexpected place way person um, definitely spirit timed here though let's clarify that two of cups the queen of swords there you are again aquarius gemini libra the fool again taking a chance stepping out of your comfort zone the three of cups celebrations parties positive social connections in your community your kindred spirit your tribe i mean it, it take a chance this is for you it's spirit intended spirit meant but you're going to have to take it it's going to feel maybe for some of you a little risky a little i don't know what i'm doing this is probably kind of crazy i don't know why i feel so led to do it but i do well why because wheel of fortune twice because spirit has brought you to this wheel of fortune twice queen of swords twice the fool twice let's clarify that fool the two of cups twice i think spirits <laughs> really trying to make it super super clear and easy for you libra i'm not laughing at you well i am but not in a bad way it's beautiful the knight of wands sooner rather than later we've got three knights knight of pentacles knight of cups knight of wands it's like fire water earth speed moving forward Let's clarify that Ace of Coins, a practical new beginning, moving, relocating, new jobs, new something. The Eight of Wands, as quickly as possible, powerful, coming in swiftly, coming in powerfully. It's an opportunity to move forward. Some of you, it may imply moving, relocating, traveling. Ace of Cups, emotional renewal, new love and romance, some combination of all of those. Seven of Swords, the behind the scenes card. Have you been planning this, working on this, working on manifesting it? Perhaps you, someone else, perhaps the two of you have been manifesting each other. The Six of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Healing, leaving the worst behind you, an exciting new beginning. We have the Ace of Earth, the Ace of Water, the Ace of Fire. We have the night of earth, the night of water, the night of fire. Ten of coins, clarify ten of coins. Long-term stability and security, having reassurance, not having to worry so much about the future anymore. Ten of coins clarified by the ten of pentacles, which is the exact same card. Okay. You really don't have to worry with this. The King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is someone that's relevant here. It could be that soulmate energy. Um, whoever is presenting this, it is solid, stable, secure, and is going to last. The Sun. <laughs> Light, love, warmth, laughter, heaviness, sadness, pressures, restrictions, lifting, alleviating, illumination. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune as if we really need to, but we're going to. Wow. I've never seen a... a it's probably been a while since I've seen a reading so full of good fortune, so full of love, so full of beauty, 
and so clearly being pointed out as the right thing to take, even if it feels a little crazy or a little risky. Wheel of Fortune. The Nine of Cups, your wish fulfillment, getting everything you want, your cups overflowing with abundance. And the Six of Cups, a card commonly associated with things we have history with, people, places, situations. It can be old history like family, roots of origin, cultural connections. It doesn't have to go back that far. It could just be people, places, situations that you know, that you know now, that you have this connection with or have had for some time. For love connections, it could be somebody that you know, somebody within your community or within your kind of like your tribe. Um, there's a major opportunity here that spirit is almost just like taking you by the nose to, or by the ear and just kind of leading you to trying to make it really really clear that again the finger of god is all over this god's fingerprints all over this i'm going to wrap up as i usually do with any advice guidance feedback or what spirit wants you to focus on to make the best decision possible although in my opinion it's already pretty clear but let's do it The Ace of Swords, <laughs> Epiphanies, Truth, the light bulb going off over your head, seeing with clarity. Wake up. Death, a final ending to one thing so that rebirth and transformation can occur, which this definitely is. Judgment, major life path decision. You're being called to step out on a new and different path that will change your life the star another one of the wish fulfillment cards based in faith taking a chance which is the whole theme of this time period libra is trusting your intuition which is completely orchestrated and driven by spirit here trusting it's going to bring you your wish fulfillment this is your wish fulfillment it's more than that your cups are overflowing with abundance again free will and free agency should you choose to take it but spirit's doing everything short of shoving it down your throat so there you go. All right, I'll leave it there. <laughs> what a fantastic reading. All right, Libra, those are your messages for the last half of May 2023. I hope it's probably not terribly realistic, but I hope for every Libra that watches this, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, I hope this resonates for everyone because that watches it because it's so beautiful. If it does, and if you'd like to take a deeper look at something, reach out for a personal reading or information about that for yourself or as a gift for someone else. Personal readings make great gifts. Why? Because they're personal. But if you're interested in any of that, please feel free. Email me directly, Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. You can also get that contact info by clicking the description link or the title of this video. I would be delighted to hear from you and to work with you. I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the, gosh, June, June already for the June general readings. Until then, please stay well and safe, and I hope to see you back here again very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.